I believe that, young or old, we have as much to look forward to with confidence and hope as we have to look back on with pride. While walking in Scotland, a local stopped Queen Elizabeth to let her know she looked just like the Queen. How reassuring, the Queen replied. I myself prefer my New Zealand eggs for breakfast, said after New Zealanders threw eggs in protest. Some cultures believe a long life brings wisdom. I'd like to think so. Perhaps, part of that wisdom is to recognize some of life's baffling paradoxes such as the way human beings have a huge propensity for good, and yet a capacity for evil. When life seems hard, the courageous do not lie down and accept defeat, instead, they are all the more determined to struggle for a better future. It has always been easy to hate and destroy. To build and to cherish is much more difficult. It is through this lens of history that we should view the conflicts of today, and so give us hope for tomorrow. We know the reward is peace on earth, goodwill toward men, but we cannot win it without determination and concerted effort. As I look to the future, I have no doubt at all that the one certainty is change. But I do not think that we should be over anxious. We can make sense of the future, if we understand the lessons of the past. Each day is a new beginning, I know that the only way to live my life is to try to do what is right, to take the long view, to give of my best in all that the day brings, and to put my trust in God. I know just how much I rely on my own faith to guide me through the good times and the bad. I admired and respected her, for her energy and commitment to others, and especially for her devotion to her two boys. If I am asked what I think about family life after 25 years of marriage, I can answer with equal simplicity and conviction, I am for it. The birth of a baby brings great happiness, but then the business of growing up begins. It has been women who have breathed gentleness and care into the harsh progress of mankind. We may hold different points of view but it is in times of stress and difficulty that we most need to remember that we have much more in common than there is dividing us. When peace comes, remember it will be for us, the children of today, to make the world of tomorrow a better and happier place. No age group has a monopoly of wisdom, and indeed I think the young can sometimes be wiser than us. But the older I get, the more conscious I become of the difficulties young people have to face as they learn to live in the modern world. Religion and culture are much in the news these days, usually as sources of difference and conflict, rather than for bringing people together. But the irony is that every religion has something to say about tolerance and respecting others. If we resolve to be considerate and to help our neighbors, to make friends with people of different races and religions, and, as our Lord said, to look to our own faults before we criticize others, we will be keeping faith with those who landed in Normandy and fought so doggedly for their belief in freedom, peace and human decency.